welcome to all of you i am prakash shrati today you learn food packaging labeling guidelines as per food safety standard authority of india in this video discussion you learn basic terms in food packaging labeling guidelines then mandatory requirements on food packaging labeling guidelines these are the some main common terms which are involving in food packaging labeling in which best before date of manufacturing date of packaging in front foods lot number batch number code number multiple package vegetarian food non vegetarian food pre packed foods then use by dates expiry dates these are the some of the common terms guidelines for food packaging labeling after the packaging of each and every food product must required to be label labeling information must be required in english or hindi or any other regional language along with english then labeling should not be separate from the package labeling information should not misleading and misbranding container wrapper also must required to specific labeling information then license number shall be display on the principal display panel format labeling must be required to clear prominent and the readily legible by the consumer under the normal condition of purchase and use these are the main guidelines of the food packaging labeling as per food safety standard authority of india what are the mandatory labeling information required on pre packed foods in this example you can see mandatory requirements on that label first one is the name of that product specific name then list of ingredient nutritional information declaration of veg non veg then license number country of origin customer care number best before and use by date manufacturing date lot number net quantity address of the manufacturer then declaration regarding the food additives instruction for use allergenic information these are the minimum requirement in food packaging labeling as per the food safety standard authority of india additional information as per need of our we can add graphic design recycling symbol barcodes labeling. and uh, must required to declare proper name of the product which contain on that package the specific name or description of the food content in the package must required to properly label on that packed food these are the examples the list of ingredient this is the example the ingredient title must required to in capital name of the ingredients written in descending order on the basis of weight or volume which are used during the preparation of the product if we used a single ingredient for the preparation of the product then does not required to declare the ingredients if we added the additives in this product preparation then must required to display the name of that additives or their ins number if we added the water more than 5% then required to declare in this ingredient if the water is the main part of that ingredient then does not required to display a specific name shall be used for the ingredient in the list of the ingredients that means in this tabular some of the examples are given if we added the edible vegetable fat then must required to a specific name of that edible oil that means it is a source of that oil is must be required to uh, declare similarly animal fat then the spices and uh, whatever the raw material are used uh, their specific source must be required to display in the ingredients third one is the nutritional information these are the examples nutritional information or the nutritional fact are display in the tabular form nutritional information per 100 g or 100 ml of that product 
in which the specific format first one is the energy then major constituent and then minor constituents of the nutrient energy is uh, in kilocalories then major nutritional values are in gram and minor nutritional values are in milligram as per our uh, specific nutritional content of that food we can arrange this specific table and declare the nutritional information in packet of food claim that means these are the claims in which a specific food containing a nutrient which help to normal functioning of our body that nutrient help to reduce the specific disease causing to our body this is called as a health claim if it's containing less fat free sugar free cholesterol zero cholesterol this type of the health claims you can see this is the health claim supports healthy cholesterol level 30% less fat than the original food these are the health claims if we require to declare the trans fat free food then it must require to trans fat level is less than 0.2 per serving of that food if we require to dis display the saturated fat free then must require to the saturated fat does not excess the 0.1 mg per 100 g or per 100 ml of that food the next one is the nutritional claim nutritional claim that means that product uh, during preparation of that product added externally nutrients that means enrichment and the fortification of that product which containing a specific nutrient value is more then it is called as a nutritional claim nutritional claim that means it's containing higher protein it's containing specific vitamin added vitamin or uh, added minerals these are the nutritional claims vegetarian or non vegetarian symbols the green color under the circle and border is green color is vegetarian the non vegetarian symbol change from the this this is the old symbol to new symbol for a specific product like water soft drink liquid foods and the milk powder does not required veg and non veg symbol the specific size of the veg or non veg symbols these are the guidelines given regarding the food additives these are the examples the additives are declared in in this manner first one is the the additives are declared by their ins number international numbering system or specific the name of that additives added permitted class 2 preservative then name of that preservative or the specific ins number this is the second example if you added any additives must required to properly display the specific in capital letter then after the name of the ingredients and the specific their class and ins number the addition of the color and the flavor must required to display in the in this capital letter content permitted natural color or the content permitted synthetic food colors content permitted natural and synthetic food colors and the added flavors as soon as the labeling must required to declare the name and complete address of that manufacturer marketed and the packers you can see in this examples the detail address of that manufacturer and the packer must be declared in this way next parameter is net quantity of that product written depending on the specific type of product mostly on the basis of their weight or volume liquid foods on the basis of their volume and the solids and semi solid foods on the basis of their weight some foods may be declared in the form of number with along with the weight or volume next one is the lot code and the batch identification must required to each and every product for the identification of that product the next one is the maximum retail price that is the maximum retail price in the market 
mostly these parameter along with the manufacturing and expiry date these are the mostly parameters are combined at a one place and printed after the packaging of that product next parameter is date of manufacturing and the expiry date of that product the manufacturing date is written in the form of date month and year if the shelf life of that product is less than 3 month for example dairy related products dried fruits and vegetable the flesh and the some processed food if the shelf life is three, less than 3 month must require to detail date month and year of that manufacturing and also expiry date and next one is the date for the if the shelf life is more than 3 month then only return in the form of month and year of that product specific shelf life and uh, you can see the example of these two are date of manufacturing and date of expiry return the month is return with capital letter three letter of that month initial three letters and then year for highly perishable foods must require to specific storage conditions along with the expiry date must require to mention for example dairy related products must require to specific storage conditions and then declaration note must be required to declare some of the food products does not required the expiry date for example fresh fruits and vegetable then alcoholic beverages vinegar sugar boiled confectioner etc the country of origin for imported foods must require to specific country of that uh, origin of that food product and details are must required to declare on that label this one is the instruction for use specific conditions of the storage then pre preparation process specific applications these are must required to declare then customer care details uh, with including contact number email id etc FSSAI logo and the license number compulsory required to company license number along with this logo if the specific symbols related to the fortified food if the food is prepared by addition of the fortification then this symbol is used if the product is organic and then jaivik bharat this symbol is uh, must required to declare on that product next parameter is declaration regarding the food additives if any ingredients which containing allergenic compound for example cereal base that is the gluten in wheat then milk milk related products egg egg related product fish and fish products peanut then some of the nuts and the soybean and the sulfite these are the main allergenic Uh, ingredients. If these ingredients are used for the preparation of the product, must require to declare on that label that containing allergenic specific that substance must require to declare. These are the some of the logo in which trademark registration, then gluten free of that product. If product is radiated, there must require to radiation symbol, egg mark symbol, ISI halal certification. recycling symbol related to the plastic recycling related to the glass component recycling for the metal and the recycling for the paper based material and the some of the additional graphic or the logos for use for the secondary packaging of that food product references if more information needs you can download the food packaging and labeling guidelines of the food safety standard authority of india This is the recent guideline 2020 Thank you very much